Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sean's Stuff. I am, of course, Sean. How is everyone? So tonight, I just wanted to share a very brief video with everybody about um, the 1978 top set. Now, um, if you recall, you may or may not, I, early in the channel, I showed uh, a couple of 1978 tops out of my collection. And, uh, you know, 78 tops is, I think, by and large, my favorite vintage set. Uh, you know, there's just something really about it I find very appealing. Um, you know, from the, the cursive uh, scripted team name, you know, it just looks really cool. And then, you know, the double bordered, of course, the outer white border and then the inner colored border. And, <clears throat> you know, just the, the uh, everything's very presented very neatly. I think it's kind of whimsical that they have the, uh, the position inside the baseball there. Very cool. And, you know, of course, this Wayne Gross here has the Topps Rookie Cup, which is a shorthand for, oh, you got a good card, buddy. But, uh, you know, the card I really, really dig out of this set and has one of my favorite things about the 78 cards is this uh, 1978 George Foster. Um, he was the home run leader in 1977. And uh, I showed him on a uh, card that he shared with Jim Rice as the league's home run leaders. But... Uh, you know, great picture of George Foster, you know, just looking very stoic, looking, looking for that next home run. But, you know, my absolute favorite thing about this card is, uh, you know, tops this year, rather than in 1978, rather than doing a, a subset of all-star cards, they made a notation on the player's base card. And it, it is, in the case of these 78s, this very, very cool looking shield design or badge design, if you will you know, with uh, red, white, and blue. And, uh, you know, there's the league all-star into position. And just just something about that, I think, like, you know, the, the patriotic nature of it, you know, being red, white, and blue, and the like that badge design, it, it kind of just, I don't know, probably reminds me of Captain America or something, but I just love that. And, uh, you know, George Foster, again, uh, you know, he was the fifth the uh fifth guy in the national league i think yeah in 1977 george became the only the fifth man in nl history to hit 50 homers so you know it was crazy the man was a power hitter and i think maybe maybe a bit unsung as a player but uh you know they commemorated his achievement of hitting so many home runs by giving him a really prestigious number in the tops set which was uh number 500 now you know obviously there you know number one is the best you know 100 200 you know but card 500 in most of those top sets is no slouch so you know, a very good card very number good number for george foster but uh um i have you know more 78s that i'm going to show in the future and uh i have a, an interesting story about how i actually acquired all of them and um, I'll share that for a video when I have a little more time. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please sound off in the comments. Like, do you have any 78s yourself? Is there a particular vintage set that you like to collect? Um, you know, any comments, any questions, any concerns, anything you'd like to see. But, uh, you know, I hope everybody enjoys uh, what little remains of their weekend. And uh, hope Monday brings uh, bright skies and uh, hot coffee to everybody. All right, take care.